Want to set up a custom domain for your Shopify store? Well, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to do that in this video. Let's go. Hey guys, Sam Baldwin here from keycommerce.com and today I'm gonna show you how to set up your custom or existing domain in Shopify. Okay, before I get into my computer and show you how I did this, just keep in mind that I just bought my domain from Namecheap.com, but there are other sites that you can buy your domain from. This works for all domain registrars wherever you bought your domain, so don't worry about that. I will put a link in the description to Namecheap so that you can go there and buy your domain. There's also a video I made that goes through how to buy your domain and I use Namecheap as the example. I've been using them for years and years for tens of dozens and dozens of domains that I've bought myself. Okay, without further ado, let's get into it. Hey guys, Sam here. So now we're gonna go into our Shopify dashboard and we're gonna connect our domain name to our Shopify website. So I'm in my, my Shopify dashboard here. I'm gonna go to online store down here on the left and I'm gonna go to domains. This is where we connect it in. So we've already purchased our domain name. There's another video talking about that. So go check that out if you haven't got your domain name yet. And now we're gonna connect that domain name to our Shopify store because they are separate things. Okay, connect existing domain. Okay, now we put in domain name that we actually bought. So I bought keysurfers.com. It's my new domain. Cool. And so it has this page and it actually figures out, okay, I'm, I bought that with Namecheap. So it says, hey, log into Namecheap and change your settings. And it's going to have step-by-step -step settings. It's very, very similar depending on what domain service you went through to buy your domain. They're all very similar, but the instructions will be here regardless. Uh, but I'm going to do it for Namecheap, which is why I made that video on how to buy your domain. You're going to scroll down to this section here, which tells you the details that you need to add in. Okay, so your A record needs to be this. Your C name record should be this. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now in Namecheap. So we go over to the manage domains page that we, we got to on the last video. And we're going to go into advanced DNS. It's where we can actually change the DNS settings for the domain. Okay, so it sets it like some redirect page. Um, yeah, we don't want that right now. Oh no, that's the actual, uh, to change www. No, I don't wanna delete that. We don't wanna change the parking. We wanna delete that one here. So what I wanna do is add a new record and the A record is going to be, A record should point to the IP address. So all you have to do is copy that, go back to here and type that in and this should just be at. That's automatic, that's fine. Done, that's done there. We then need to put in a CNAME record. So scroll down to CNAME. Same thing over here. And then actually I think this should be www, but I think eight is, at, is, is the same. Save, awesome. That's fine, both of those are done. So we have the IP address and the shops.myshopify.com. Let's now verify the connection. This can take some time to go through, but sometimes it goes through straight away. Okay, awesome. So I messed up here, so it should be www. So it's at empty right now. So I'm gonna go back to Namecheap and I'm gonna change this, www. The C name, awesome. Let's go back and let's verify again. I knew I had it right the other time. Anyway, let's see if it puts it through. And voila, your domain key surface was successfully connected. That was super easy. See, it took only a few seconds to get that set up and now it's pointing to this domain and that's all ready. It can take up to 24 hours to for the changes to propagate. What that means, you can learn more about it here, but basically DNS servers, they're all around the world and they all don't update at once. Basically, someone in different countries might go to your domain name, like my domain keyservers.com, and they'll still see a parked page and it won't be updated. It takes time, up to 24 hours, so you may have to wait for that. But that's how you set up your domain name and exist connecting an existing domain to Shopify uh, from your domain registrar. I hope that helps and I'll see you next time. Boom! That was easy. If you have any questions at all, please go ahead and leave a comment below. I look at every single comment, I answer them all, any questions you might have on this process, as well as any e-commerce questions, just let me know, I'll answer them. If this video was helpful for you for setting up your custom domain in Shopify, please give it a thumbs up. That tells YouTube, hey, Sam's making useful stuff out there for his audience. And if you wanna see more tutorials on how to grow your e-commerce store, please check out my channel. I make a lot of videos just like this one on all parts of marketing and setting up your store and scaling it. Also consider subscribing. I make a lot of videos just like this on a regular basis. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.